Traders from around the globe, what's going on? It's me, Ricky Cadden from Real Life Trading Australia. I trust you guys are doing absolutely amazing today. The SPY today gapping up just as expected. Um, we did speak about this on Tuesday, saying that most likely we would come back up to fill this gap that we had when the market was going bearish and most likely we probably would make a double bottom here. That just to me makes the most sense. If I just take a quick look at the ES, the E-minis futures, we, we did have a cute little gap down and we've been pretty sideways here in the afternoon and in the evening session. So from here, it's going to be quite interesting to see how we open. Obviously, we could V bottom out of here. I just personally don't think that is very healthy for the market to do so. So most likely, if we do get a small sell-off, it should happen in the next couple of days. And I do expect this probably to roll back down and maybe create some relative lows like back here and literally last week. Um, so that's ES and the SPY most likely going to double bottom out of here. Although if we get a V bottom, that's also okay as well. Here's the Dow Jones pretty much doing the same thing following the rest of the markets. And um, from here, we did, we did come down to the 200 and bounce. Uh, so from here, guys, this could potentially launch out of here or we could just get a little bit of choppiness action like we did back here and then maybe roll down and go higher. So DIA looks really, really good for a buy the dip opportunity long term. Um, but for any short term day trades, just look to probably short the highs coming, coming soon because we may have a little bit of a sell off. Here's the cues looking super bullish. Beautiful candle, looking really juicy. Love the trend. Uh, we didn't quite make it to the 200, um, but we have got some higher lows. So if you are in bullish on the queues, stay long. And the IWM came right down to this support. We did say that this support did have to hold. Um, otherwise, we may get a little bit more of a, a sell-off like we did in December. But from here, if we do come up and come back down, I would definitely look to buy the dip and have some open orders to buy IWM. Here's Disney. Now I spoke about a, a potential day trade opportunity uh, on Tuesday coming into the Wednesday morning uh, with this beautiful gap and go. If you did get to take that trade, uh, well done. Um, but from here, Disney, I did actually draw this yesterday saying that most likely we would come we would gap up trade lower and then bounce so disney looking really really good great company long term to buy and hold and now is a great opportunity to buy here's amd the fade the not the fade sorry the gap of the day uh beautiful gap um gapping above this candle right here and it was a retest gap, but it realistically only gave you one opportunity. You'd have to go back into the one minute chart here. And if I just zoom right to the to open, we we broke out of the we broke out of the pre-market highs and we came back down to retest the low of that that first one minute candle. So you had to be fairly quick. Um, if you did not catch that, I could totally understand that. However, this was a just beautiful little S curve and nice little healthy trend and did go higher because we did have such a enormous uh, candle on the daily chart. I do expect this to retrace a little bit, especially because we are coming back up into this resistance level here. Um, so do expect a little bit of a, small dip and then most likely look to buy the dip at around $32. Here's Netflix. Now Netflix is a, just a beautiful Morningstar reversal pattern. And ironically, if you take a look at the weekly chart, it's right at the 100. Now we did speak about this probably a couple of weeks ago. I'll go back to the daily. Um, it was probably around here that I was saying most likely we'll come down to fill this gap 
from back in from back in January, and that gap has now been filled with this beautiful hammer candle. So. If you did have an order set up to go long down here, well done. Netflix does look good long term. Great company. And this is definitely a buy the dip opportunity. Here's MU. Now, MU looks absolutely amazing. We have a lot of long lower wicks here. And we are pretty much just coiling right now. Um, the 100 simple moving average has now crossed above the 200. If I just draw a quick Fibonacci retracement here, we have come right to the 50% retracement and we are starting to bounce on MU. If we take a look at the weekly chart, we have this beautiful hammer of Thor right here. So MU does look like it is going to coil and bounce as are most of the semiconductor uh, sectors. If we take a look at Nvidia, pretty much doing something very similar. We have now got a new higher low. Uh, so we have gone from here and now we're coming down. Nice little dip buying opportunity and most likely we will trade higher long term. Now, if you are looking to trade the, uh, if you are looking to trade the leveraged Semiconductor sector would be S. You'd be looking at SOXL. Now this has had quite a nice pullback. As you can see, we have pulled back in the last couple of weeks. We have pulled back a nice 30%. And this is definitely a really nice trend. Long term does look very, very bullish. And we, we almost came down to the 200 and bounce. So as all the semiconductor companies are going bullish, look to go long on SOXL. So this is a great, great gap. Most likely we will come back down a little bit, but look to buy the dip around 142 on SOXL. Here's Roku the Rocket gapping up over earnings once again, clearing the previous new all-time highs, creating a new all-time high and not surprised at all. Beautiful volume. Um, personally, I don't like buying at the top. I am still waiting for, I am still waiting for Roku to come back down to the 100 simple moving average to go long. I missed this opportunity here and this didn't quite come back far enough for me, nor did this. So I am still waiting. Um, but Roku, if you are in long-term shares, beautiful trend probably look to lock in some gains as this was a white candle gapping up, which is a retest gap. So I do expect at some point this gap to fill and hopefully we can look to buy the dip here off the 100. That's Roku. Let's take a look at the all odds. Beautiful bounce off the 100 on the daily chart. We spoke about this on Tuesday. Uh, saying that this was a nice time to go long for a couple of short-term day trades. So if you did take that opportunity to, to go bullish, well done. Um, but from here, guys, most likely it will be a little bit choppy and hopefully create a little double bottom and bounce out of here. Here's ticker symbol APX Appen Limited. Now, I've been waiting for this thing to pull back pretty much since the start of the year. Um, and we finally are coming back down to the 100. If you are looking to buy long term, this is a very nice time to buy. Uh, we did come back down to the 100 on the daily chart. And that is just one beautiful, beautiful sell off candle on the weekly. Um, and right now we are just going to chop around and consolidate here. So this obviously was a pullback that has been needed for a while currently at about $25. And from here, I do expect us to chop around for a little while. So don't rush in and buy. Just look to buy as low as you can, but definitely keep your eyes peeled on a long-term opportunity on APX. Here's Altium, ticker symbol ALU. Um, I did say probably a couple of weeks back that a time to buy was $30. If you did have an open order set up for that of this beautiful support level here, then you should have gotten filled just a few, uh, you should have gotten filled 
just last week, uh, sorry, the start of the week. Um, right now, we have bounced, but we are resisting at the 100 simple moving average. So I do expect, we did get that, that gap to close. So I do expect us probably to come back down. And then if the 200 can come into play, that is going to be an amazing time to go long on ALU. Here's BHP, beautiful gap down. Oh, sorry, not beautiful gap down, beautiful bounce off the 200. We did speak about this um, and we are at an absolute solid support level. So if you are looking at picking up some shares long-term, BHP is at a very good buying location to go long. Here's Domino's Pizza. Once again, guys, we did have another glorious hammer here only days ago and we are at this support level. If you take a look at the weekly chart, um, we, uh, we, we did break, we did break this support here. However, most likely we are going to bounce here as the 100 comes into play. Uh, beautiful support, beautiful retracement after this massive bullish run after the past, you know, six years. So this is definitely a time to buy the dip and go long. And here's new crests. Once again, almost coming up to their all-time highs, and they will break. They will definitely breach their all-time highs eventually, as gold does continue to go bullish. So, Newcrest right now is definitely not the time to buy, as we are approaching the new all-time highs. And you do really want to buy on a dip, especially because gold has just been on an absolute tear lately, and we do have earnings just around the corner. So. Newcrest looking amazing, cute little inside day bullish candle today, and hopefully we hopefully we do get a little bit of a retracement, and then you can look to buy the dip. And we'll take a look at the commodities. Here's U.S. oil, crude oil, came straight down to this support once again, like we like we've been speaking about for the past couple of weeks. Um, so if you are going, if you did start to go long, if you're trading Forex, futures, whichever, whichever one, oil stocks, if you are looking to go long, I hope you did capitalize on this little buy the dip opportunity. From here, I am expecting a little bit of choppiness, um, but eventually I do expect us to go higher. Of course, we can break lower um, if it does. And when it does, I would definitely be looking to size up on a position down at 43.20. Here's gold, just absolutely steam training higher and my target is still 15.49.56. Uh, we are creating a cute little pennant pattern at this current moment. And one, if we do break out of this, guys, we will very quickly go to 15.50 roughly. So gold, Looking bullish, looking amazing. Just wait for a retracement if you are if you did not get to buy the dip back here. Uh, and last but not least, we'll have a look at the Aussie dollar. Now we did speak about uh, uh, we did speak about throwing in some lower wicks on the Aussie dollar, and this was just an, a glorious little morning star reversal. Um, most likely we will come up a little bit more and then I'd probably look to short around, you know, 68.50 if we get some sort of reversal signal. Otherwise I'll be looking to short if we come back up to the 100 or the 200, but AUD USD, this was definitely just a lot of people, a lot of short sellers closing out their positions and taking their profits because this was an absolute amazing bearish trend. That's all I got for you today, folks. I'll be back next. I'll be I'll be back next Thursday, actually, because I'll be traveling on Tuesday. Um, so until next Thursday, if you do have any tickers that you want me to look at, leave it in the comment section below, and I will review them next week. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll speak to you soon. And remember, love life, live life, and trade it. I'll see you soon. Bye.